Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Have you ever heard of the term buy the dip? Well, you don't have to exactly wait until the entire stock market takes a big dip in order for you to have a good entry point. But sometimes I like to track certain companies their sales so that I could get in at a great price point that I've been waiting for this company to pull back. The way that I'm able to tell that these companies have had a big dip is by following the RSI indicator. By using the relative strength index, I'm able to tell that this company is oversold and is at a very good value. So what is the RSI indicator? The relative strength index, RSI, is a momentum indicator used with technical analysis that measures the magnitude of recent price changes to evaluate overbought or oversold conditions in the price of a stock or other assets. The RSI is displayed as an oscillator, a line graph that moves between two extremes. And you can have a reading from zero to 100. So basically all that means is an indicator on the chart that where it's over 70% is overbought and when it's under 30%, is oversold so we're going to be looking for companies that are oversold that mean they are undervalued and that is us getting in at the dips so in this video i'm going to bring you guys four oversold dividend stocks to where you're not getting in at the top and the company could possibly crash we're getting in at the great price point it might not be the best price point it could still pull back a little bit but we're still getting in at a great price point on a great company because every company i'm going to bring you has been increasing their dividends for the last 17 years so we're going to get in at a great price point we can ride the wave of these companies right on back up to that old all-time high and while we're collecting profit in dividends we're also collecting profit in the value of the company going up over the next couple of months so make sure that you stay throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on any crucial information and i'm going to do a quick technical analysis on these companies so that you guys can see exactly how i look at these companies to where i could get in at a great value but before we dive into this video this video is brought to you by we will sign up now and deposit any amount of money that's right you can deposit one penny and you receive three free stocks valued up to three thousand three hundred dollars with those three free stocks you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you could sell those three free stocks and withdraw all of your money guys it's literally free money do not miss out on this opportunity also i'm gonna leave a link in the description to coinbase that is by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency receive a free ten dollars worth of bitcoin from signing up using coinbase and the last link i'm going to leave you guys is to mumu sign up with mumu by clicking the link down in the description deposit 100 dollars, and now you can receive five free stocks valued up to seventeen thousand dollars, guys um once again you could keep those five free stocks inside the platform or you could sell those five free stocks and you could draw all of your money guys it's literally free money do not miss out on these opportunities but enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on stock number one. The first one we're going to look at is Walmart ticket symbol WMT. They have a dividend growth over the last 48 years, making them dividend aristocrats. And they have a dividend yield of 1.63%. If we come on over to trading view, here is the RSI indicator down here. I have my setup to where if it's over 70, it's triggered as overbought. And if it's under 70 under 30 right here then it's triggered as oversold and as you guys can see usually when it's oversold i mean it's under 30 this is the rsi indicator i mean this stock is undervalued there are too many people selling off this stock and they usually end up recovering and then when it's overbought like at the top right here here it goes it's overbought and then it usually pulls back because they do not see it at a fair value because it's overbought and then to typically it starts to pull back so a lot of people use the rsi indicator to day trade and to swing trade inside of the stock market i use it to swing trade and as you guys can see walmart has been following true to the um, rsi indicator it was oversold right here end up rebounding it was oversold again right here at the bottom end up rebounding and once again it was oversold right here end up rebounding and now it is oversold again it got a little bit more ways to pull back right now it's at like 32 
I would wait until it pulls back into the 30 range on the RSI indicator, but the earnings are coming up on Walmart. So please um, stay tuned for that inside of the Discord. So um, if we do a quick te technical analysis on Walmart, as you guys can see, it has a very strong support area right in here. Let's pull out the draw, the rectangle tool. It has a very strong support inside of this zone right here. Do not want to fall below $134, $134, $135, and $134, $134. So I don't want to fall below this zone. So right now, um, even though signs are showing that it could pull back more, the RSI is not oversold to my liking. It's almost there. Maybe another day or two, it could be there. But uh, if you want to play that it's always bounced off in the zone, then it could be a good little entry point um, to start dollar costing averaging in. But as you guys can see, it is in a um, downtrend. It has a, a high right here, a lower high, a lower high, a lower high, a lower high, and a lower high. So it is in a downtrend. So it is in a downtrend ridge. Uh, you could be patient with um, Walmart and just dollar cost average in, but just know that you're not buying in at the top at $151. Walmart is going to be around forever, guys. So um, getting in at $135. Uh, dollar cost average again at 135 134 is always a good way to go and remember walmart has been increasing their dividends for the last 48 years so this is a company i'm planning on holding for the next 10 15 25 years inside of my portfolio and collect dividends from them um before we dive into stock number two guys if you want technical analysis like this all the time then you might want to check out the patreon link down in the comment section that'll take you to my discord inside of my discord i post every single time i buy and sell stocks um i post my swing trade ideas and technical analysis we also have other pro day traders in there option traders in there that post all of that option trades every single day to where the community is doing pretty well and also i have probably the best community of traders inside of my discord so if you have any questions at all and if you want a whole bunch of knowledge all in one place then you might want to check out the patreon link down in the comment section that'll take you to my discord sign up for that and you'll have access to a whole bunch of information from a great community of traders guys so go ahead and check that link out down in the comment section so let's go ahead and dive into stock number two stock number two is going to be cl code okay colgate has been increasing their dividends for the last 17 years and they have a dividend yield of 2.26 percent let me show you guys exactly why i like colgate ticker symbol cl here we are as you guys can see i had already drawn some lines but colgate was overbought on the four hour chart um on the rsi indicator down here and then of course as you guys can see it's at the bottom it's pulling back to somewhere of a support resistance uh, zone that had drew out a while ago it could still pull back just a little bit but as you guys can see there's a clear triple top up here to where colgate is having problems passing 95 dollars it has a good support zone and then it's making higher lows which shows that it has an uptrend wedge but right now on the rsi indicator down here it is at it is at the perfect 30 percent zone that i like dollar cost averaging in so right now it could be a perfect time to um, pick up some shares of colgate if you zoom all the way out to the one week chart let me show you guys exactly why i love this company boom we zoomed all the way out let's zoom out some more this is Colgate all the way from 2000, let's go to 1990. There we go, 1990. This is what Colgate has done all the way from 1991 to 2022. Colgate has only gone up. So this is a dividend company I want inside of my portfolio. Um, it, just over the last 30 years, this company has only gone up of course colgate does have that dips here and there but for the most part over the average of the last 30 years this is a no-brainer investment um i'm gonna hold on to this company for the next 30 years as well and collect dividends from them every single quarter yes they pay out every single quarter so let's move over to stock number three which is ticker symbol mmm 3m they are dividend kings that mean they're inside the s p 500 and have increased their dividends for at least the last 50 years 3m has been increasing their dividends for 63 years they've been increasing their dividends longer than many of you viewers have even been alive including me and it has an awesome awesome dividend yield of 3.74 percent so let's come back over to trading view back to the four hour chart and type in mmm 
Um, you guys know 3M without even knowing 3M. Trust me, you have one at least one of their products inside of your household because they make everything. All right, so here's 3M over the lat, uh, the four hour chart. As you guys can see, it is down here on the oversold. It's been riding the oversold for a while. It's been making lower lows. So this is another good zone right here for 3M. Let's draw out a quick little zone. There it goes. Draw out that zone right there. All right, so here we are on 3M. 3M has been pulling back. The line has crossed, so we have to be a little bit more patient on this, even though um, we want the MACD to point up, and then we want the RSI to start to trend back up the other way. But 3M, of course, is another amazing, great company. This is, might have been the pullback that we've been waiting for, because once again, over the last 30 years, let's look all the way back to 1990, um, 3M has only gone up. Of course, they have their pullbacks just like here. This was um, a perfect pullback that we would have been looking for back in 2009. Another pullback, another pullback, and here's a major pullback. But once again, it's saying higher lows. Here's a low. Here's a low. So statistics have shown that no matter what 3M has been through, a recession, a pandemic, no matter what they've been through, they've been able to increase their dividends every single year. And they already have an amazing dividend yield of 3.74. So this is another one that I love buying the dips on 3M, letting the company recover. As you guys can see, they usually recover based off historical data over the last 40, 60 years, guys. All the way back when 3M was just $13, $14, $15 a share, um, this company, um, this company tends to always trend up so this might be the perfect buying opportunity um on the dip for 3m you do not have to wait for the market to dip you just have to wait on great companies to dip and that's going to bring us to our last great company which is ticker symbol pg proctor and gamble let's look at proctor and gamble i believe there are another there we go yes they are another dividend king they've been increasing their dividends for the last 65 years um they have a 2.2 three percent dividend yield and of course this is um procter and gamble over the last 30 years this is procter and gamble chart over the last 30 years once again another great company let's zoom back in on the four hour chart to see if it's oversold and there you goes guys um procter and gamble is showing that it's at a support line right here it goes all the way through let's pull out a fibonacci sequence here we are on the fib all the way up i wait for Procter and gamble to break the support line wait for the RSI to pull all the way back to 30 it's almost there you have to have rules guys it's at 32 i wait for it to get to 30 and then probably buy inside of this golden zone right here all of that is explained inside of the discord just in case if you guys want more detailed analysis on these technical breakdown guys so so these are my top four oversold stocks and there you go dreamers our four stocks is walmart um, colgate 3m and procter and gamble those four stocks right there are oversold you're not buying it no even if you buy right now in the pullback you did not buy the top and that's always the key you do not want to buy high and sell low you want to buy low and sell high so even if you're just swing trading in these stocks i'm buying these stocks at a great value just so that i could collect dividends i'm going to hold on to them for the for the future but if you are a swing trader just always remember buy low and sell high and to help you buy low you can always look at the rsi indicator but that's all i got for you guys make sure that you um hit the subscribe button and come back next week because because next week i'm going to bring you the top three companies that are at their 52 week low that's right that means they're more than oversold that means that over the last year they're at the lowest points they ever been their price points at the lowest points it's ever been and this could be great buying opportunities so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that video but other than that guys don't forget to pick up your three free stocks with weeble it's literally free money guys do not miss out on that opportunity but other than that i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace